this is it, the moment you've been waiting for. Are you excited? I can't hear you, are you excited? Then without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the time is now. Get ready to clap your hands, stamp your feet and go absolutely insane! So happy to be here, <laughs> and thank you for the amazing welcome. What a welcome! Wow! Wow! The first ever Morgan White event. Thank you guys so yes. much for coming out. Thank you. We really, really appreciate it. <laughs> that was really oh my fun. goodness! <laughs> he was nervous, but you guys are really. I was so nice. nervous because <laughs> look how many there are. Look how many, look of, how our... many of you there are. Oh my God. It was terrifying. <laughs> So, yeah, we see some people in the audience. We recognize a lot yes. of familiar faces. Yes, I see a bunch of familiar faces. Yeah. I'm going to call some of them out, Joseph. So, oh, help Julia. Me. Hi. We're on the... Hi. Yeah. <laughs> hi, Paula. Oh, hello. <laughs> Paula. Julie. I see a bunch of people. And then there's Haley up there. And uh, how do we know all these names? You know, uh, uh, as many of you may know, over the last couple of years, uh, we started doing some events online, some live events, some stage it shows for you guys. And what was really incredible was we built up this close circle of, of I would call like super fans who would come to these events and we'd talk on Zooms, we'd do uh, all sorts of stuff, we right? Made, we made songs. We did. We laughed. We <laughs> I parted. played the ukulele. <laughs> it was crazy. I, and, <laughs> Honestly, it all started because of the pandemic. Yeah. And all of us were on lockdown. And then we found that people were shut in and scared and lonely. And then we thought, what do we do? Well, let's, let's reach out. We can't go to normal jobs, but right. we could connect online. And usually it's not really a safe space, is it? <laughs> it's like a scary space where people online, are mean yeah. to each other. And we decided, like, well, let's try and make it positive. We wanted to create like a bully-free zone, right, where everyone would be really nice to each other. So we encouraged all of our um, friends who are joining us online, all of the fans, to welcome everyone else. And, and it was wonderful, wasn't it, to see what it happened? It was great. We ended up helping charities. Yeah. We um, helped animals. We helped the environment. We did um, a music concert. We did a whole we concert. We did a whole music Joseph concert. Joseph played the guitar and I did. tried to get him to sing, but... <laughs> she tried. She tried. Yeah. 
Yeah. So we did everything, and it was this TVD Originals uh, fandom and some others that came along too, but yeah. really that was the core. And then all these friendships were born, which I met some of you today that have new friendships, like Chloe right. and Evie and different people, <laughs> right? <laughs> and you're like, there's other people than Rhonda and Julia yeah. and Paula and these people connected yeah. with that love. And, and what you don't know is that, um, you know, some of you have told us that, you, you know, we helped you and Joseph and the originals helped you through hard times in your life. Like how Klaus helped you, um, you know, through difficult times in your life. I've heard that today a bunch. Uh, not sort of showing you what to do. <laughs> not that. <laughs> but, you know, just through the comfort of escapism of watching the characters, you know, really kind of helped you. But you guys really helped us as well through uh, probably one of the hardest times of our life, you know, during the pandemic. Definitely. And all, all of that. So we kind of fed off your energy, sort of like vampires. <laughs> <laughs> But seriously. Yeah, yeah, but seriously. <laughs> it was delicious. No. Um, no. <laughs> no, but really, it was um, a contagious love thing that happened and yeah. created butterflies and dinosaurs, which some of you are going to go, what is that about? Uh, Want to explain, Joseph? So, like, butterflies and dinosaurs were the names we created for people and the little emojis we used. Uh, so you could tell us without telling us that you were part of this core group. Right, so right. people would post on social media and put a little dinosaur icon. What are they called? Emoji, little yep. dinosaur emoji. There, you are. I got there in the end. Uh, and and we go, oh, okay, they're someone who comes to all of our stage it shows, right. and they're a part of all of our all of that stuff. And yeah. then one of our shows um, involved butterflies, and it was about you evolving and moving forward from your past and your trauma, yeah, and rebirth, how you're going to try right? and grow, and you know, where are your wings. So now we have these dino flies. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Right? Dino flies, Dino yeah. Flies. yeah. Or, or butter sores. Yeah. <laughs> I Either don't know, one. yeah. Either one. Um, yeah, so it was really like, uh, you know, just like the originals and the vampire diaries, but more specifically the originals. Uh, it was like that, you know, we, we wanted to encourage this idea of a family, you know, of everyone being a family and everyone kind of helping each other and, and fitting in, even when you felt like you didn't fit in. Yep. And, and so that was, uh, that was the idea, finding hope. Finding hope yeah. in all the darkest places, it's still possible. Not the same as saving hope, which is no. a, a, a which was great his show, job. <laughs> which a friend of mine uh, was starring on for a while. I think he got blown up, though, or something, didn't he? Did he get blown up? <laughs> Does he get blown up? I, I think don't know. Sort of into an eternity, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, that being said, yes. Um, what do we want to just explain to them that we came up with an idea we about... Did. Joseph is always hello loving. Oh yes. So today we've come up with the idea of the hello love seat. And here it is. So yes. the, the first thing we, what we want to do is um, uh, we want to bring a few of you up here in a minute. But before we, uh, but before we bring up a few random uh, lucky people, we just want to um, ask uh, three of our super fans to come up and join us on stage. Three really special people so that recently, let's explain what they did. We, yes. we raised um, money oh, yes. to help a little girl be able to hear because she had a broken hearing aid and Paula Rodriguez from Spain put this um, kick, sort of, it's a GoFundMe yeah. together for this charity. And now this little girl can hear. Yeah, and um, we did it all together. Brilliant, right? Brilliant, thank you. Yeah. And um, these people have helped so many causes, but this was really special. And we're going to do it again. We want to get a full hearing aid for someone who can't hear. Yeah. Me and Joseph are going to put together um, another fundraiser. And we just, we know that all of you have different types of causes and things. And we want to help as much as we can with any good that we can do in this world. But we want to bring up these butterfly dinosaurs. Right now. Right now. And welcome so, them to the Hello Love Seat. So, Paula. Julia. Rhonda. Rhonda, come will you please come, come up. up? Come on up. Come on. Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> come on over to the hello. You have to go up and around, guys. <laughs> Unless you're... It's all right, because as you saw when I came in, I started wandering up the stairs over there. <laughs> so, so it, you know, I had to make the mistake so that you would know. Uh, thank you, Tom. So come on over, guys, yeah. and have a seat for a second on the... Hello, love seat. Welcome to the Hello, stage. Hello, love. Welcome, guys. Hello, loves. Welcome. And each one of you has 
um, a gift here, if you can see. Yes. yes. Oh, that's the what we have to do when you come to the... It, take a seat. Take a seat for a second, guys. So take a seat. Oh, there you go. There you go. And then we have to go... We have to go. Hello, loves. Seat. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you, guys. Yes, thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. And this is all about you right now because the yeah. Hello Love seat is about you because you make us feel seen and we want you to feel seen and loved. Yeah, so, so thank we want you, you. To guys to know how much we appreciate you and thank you for coming and supporting us and being a part of this. Yes, thank so you. So guys, let's make them feel welcome. Thank you. <laughs> all right, guys. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. No worries. Amazing. All right, on your way, guys. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. So. So. So, there were some stickers given out uh, and put on people. Uh, yes, you have and your stickers. There were the little Morgan White stickers that, that were given out. And a few of them, a very few of them. Very few select. Had a little dinosaur sticker on the middle of it. So, just so examine you your you have stickers. To ask for this particular one, Joseph. Th there should be. A Someone. Tyrannosaurus Rex on the middle of one of those stickers. It's in a Look on your white sticker. Do you see a green dinosaur? Look on your stickers, guys. Examine your it? stickers. Someone has a green if dinosaur? You have a green dinosaur. You have a dinosaur on your sticker. Is it a T Rex? Come on down. Uh, but, but round. <laughs> We've got a triceratops. We've got a triceratops. Should we do the triceratops Is it green? first? No, it's a triceratops. Okay, we'll do the triceratops. Come on up, triceratops. Come on up. That, that's not oh. green, that's this one, Joseph. Let's make sure, let's match, let's match the dinosaur. Oh no, this is a Stegosaurus. <laughs> I know my dinosaurs. Hello. So, oh. Oh. Bring, Hi. Hello. Hello, love. Oh. oh, come on up. Hello. Come and have a seat. And you have to say it, Joseph. Hello, loves. <laughs> Wait, Welcome. Let me see. Oh. Perfect, oh, there you perfect, go. We've got perfect. a triceratops there. This so we've got a little bit of a, a gift for you. Yes, we do. We have. So we've got a special Morgan White book, and we've got a T-shirt. A T-shirt that you can draw on. Yeah. And then okay. um, a book that's been autographed thank as you. well. So thank, thank you, guys. you so much, guys. So amazing. Thanks for being incredible. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're looking for another dinosaur. Yeah, look for we've got any dinosaur. other dinosaurs? What? We have we've a got dinosaur. one. We got another dinosaur. Woo! Come on down. Come on up. Butter sores. <laughs> the diner flies. <laughs> the diner flies. You know, Persia came up with the idea of the hello love seat, which I thought was kind of nice because you have the love seat, right? I think you should design and one. It hello just love. be like. Oh, that would be a good thing. Yes. And when you sit on it, it goes, hello love. <laughs> <laughs> hello love. And you could do like, ha, ha, hello love. <laughs> come on over. Ah, oh, come Hiya. on over. Hi, uh, welcome, welcome. Guys, come and have a seat. Welcome, come and sit down. Hello, loves. <laughs> welcome. Here, you can have a microphone and tell us your names. What's your names? Hi, Mia. Hi, Mia. And I'm Abby. Hi, Abby. Welcome. Welcome. So Thank you guys, you guys for coming. Oh we appreciate you guys so much. We're going to give you guys a little. We're going to give you right? some gifts. Oh yeah. 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 I have something here for you. It's a little there we go. It's a oh, that's a little tote. Yeah, it's a little tote. Designed by Mecca. Designed by yeah. uh, our daughter, Mecca, and it's the white lion tote. What about one of these? Yeah, and then for me, the Morgan White tote. Yes. There you go. So you both have a so always welcome. and forever. And, uh, right Thank here. you guys for coming up. Let's make yeah. them feel welcome. Thank you, guys. We appreciate that. Okay, is there one more dinosaur? Yeah, there should be two more. Yeah, of course. All right, any more dinosaurs? Any more dinosaurs? Any more. If there's anyone else who has... Did you have find you got a little dinosaur on? Do you want to come you up? found it. Come on up. Woo! One more. Come on. If you have to go up and round. Yeah, and I've learned the way. That's how easy it is. That's how it happens. <laughs> come on. So you have to talk about, tell jokes when they're walking what? up. You didn't see that? I didn't prepare. There's nothing about <laughs> jokes here. Oh, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Come and have a seat here. Hello, love. Oh, I met her in the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Welcome. use this microphone. What's your name? Caitlin. Caitlin, where are you from? I'm Aberdeen in Scotland. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. 
lovely. Oh, thanks for coming all this way, Caitlin. Can we find Caitlin something? Yes, yeah. Caitlin. What, you, what, you, what should yeah, we give yeah. Caitlin? You can give her a tote and we all oh, yeah. an autograph. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a signed book yeah, and a tote. There we go. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much, Caitlin. Caitlin. Thanks for coming up. Yeah. You're welcome. Oh, thanks for making her feel welcome, guys. Yeah. Really nice. Now, I feel like there's one, one more. more. Is there's there one, one more? more? Is there one more dinosaur? Come on up. Yeah, she's taking oh, it. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's finish off the Hello Love section of the Morgan White event. No, thanks. Guys, thank you so much for supporting the people who are coming up on stage. It means a lot. It's totally random, as you see. The stickers just went out, and <laughs> we really appreciate it. Come on, here we go. Come on in. <laughs> Come and have a seat, right? Hi. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hello, love. Hello. <laughs> What's your name? Liz. Liz. But this sticker actually belongs to my friend Alice, who wouldn't come down. Alice. <laughs> Alice. <laughs> so come on down. What Alice. a great friend has given you the sticker. Come on, well, Alice. Maybe, maybe. Alice, will you come down? Uh. <laughs> Is she coming? She wouldn't yeah. come. Come on, guys, let's encourage her. Come on, Alice. Oh, Alice, thank you so much for coming down. Yes, Alice, because... Being a dinosaur. <laughs> it sounded better in my head. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, welcome. There you go. <laughs> Alice. Hello, love. <laughs> which, color, which color dinosaur did you have? Oh, you got oh, the Oh, there red we go. One. So, we've got a little something for Alice, yep. Liz. Yep, we sure do. We have. See, look how nice it is. There you go, there you go Alice. Alice. Ooh, we got okay. this, and then we got this. Oh, and maybe that. Yeah, and I've got a signed card here for you. There you oh, go. Thank you. There we go. Lovely. All right, guys, give them a round of applause. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Oh, good to meet you. Thanks for coming down, Alice. See, that's a good example. Everybody needs to know they deserve to feel loved. I think yeah. that it is hard sometimes to think, oh, it's random and being special. Everybody should get that. They should, shouldn't they? So thank you, guys. You, too, can be butterflies and dinosaurs. One of you, them, uh, <laughs> if you yeah, choose. <laughs> if you choose to uh, come to our little events and be a part of that, and you'll know to use the emoji, so we'll know to give you a bit of attention. Yes, or the icons. <laughs> yeah, or the icons. Yeah, yeah, that's the, whatever you call them. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, whatever. Hello, look. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Now I'm Sorry. scared. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait. She tried it. <laughs> I did. Okay, so okay. we have a bit of trivia. We have a bit of a trivia you guys want to play some trivia? And we're going to play a little trivia game right now. Okay, and Tom's going to help us out by running in the audience. So we're going to ask a question and shoot your hand up if you think you know the answer. Right. And uh, Tom will run over to someone Thanks. close by and we'll see how we do. So I'm yeah. going to do the first yeah, question. Yeah, do it. If you're Joseph right. came Ready, up these. And uh, I helped a little bit, but Joseph is the master of trivia for these shows. So, Question one. <laughs> if it's about Doc Martin, I'll know. What was the first ever line of dialogue that I said as Klaus on the Vampire Diaries. Put your hand up if you know. We've got one hand in the back right there, Top. Thanks, And mate. one up there. Go on. Where am I going? We're Over making here. him work for it. <laughs> right here. Yes. Yeah? I see it. Yes, here yeah, we go. Let's see. It's good to be back. No. Oh. It's the wrong answer. That is the first line that modern Klaus said when he stepped out. But the first line... Right, I'm headed down the front. Me, me oh. as Klaus. Got another I need one. health insurance. <laughs> We're not insured for this, Tom. Okay, we've got it. Here he goes. Uh, is it hello, Catherine? No, it's not. Oh, my God. Oh, this is... Oh. I've oh. made it to... Who's, who knows it? Who down knows here, it? this brother down here. Let's see what we got. Okay, here we go. Is it hello, Katerina? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give you one more go. I feel like this is a dodgy guess, but is it a hello of love? No, <laughs> just guessing random. No, no. That, that was the, the hello love scene. I think the stakes are going up on this one. The stakes are going up. What are the we going to give the person who wins this? Um, oh, well, we'll see. We'll see who wins. Okay. Because okay. We let's have do one more, right Tom. Here. Let's look, look behind you. One more right behind you. In the queue. 
always and forever. <laughs> That's a nice Jesus. one, though. Are they going mad here in the centre section? Let me slide on down. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Here we go. Pass the mic down. Strave, Katarina. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. I ran all the way away for that. Go down there. She will know it. She's like a true fan. There's someone way up there, right? No. No, you've gone. Next. Where are we going? Up here. Oh, my God. Oh. The anticipation is killing oh, this me. Is a here we go. Workout. Here we go. <laughs> oh, it's a ray in the back. Was it in every moment a choice exist? No, what, my first ever line. That's a heavy one. <laughs> in the queue, down there. There, waving her hand. Guys, point somewhere for me. There, there, Liberty. Go to Liberty. Liberty, shout Liberty. Here we go. Liberty. Here we go. <laughs> this is the last try. I'm going to tell you after this. I can't take it anymore. And you should all be ashamed of yourselves and go home and watch episode 19 of season two called Klaus. I want you to know, I tried to convince him to give the gift away anyway. If some people, he was like, no, no, we'll just keep trying. <laughs> Someone's going to get it. What was it? That's more like it. <laughs> what would it? Oh, Jesus Christ. Forget it. Forget it. I'm going to tell you what it was. I'm going to tell you what it was. Wait, no, we shouldn't give them a chance. Okay, I'll give you a clue. Give, a give clue. you a clue. Let's give hints like charades. Okay, so the line before that line, Daniel Gillies played Elijah, says, may I present the Lord Nicklaus? Oh, I don't know. And that, that was my impression of him. And then I said, I said... I'm coming down here, I'm coming down here, I'm coming down here. Yeah. Let's slide on down, you two. Elijah, get, get me out of here. <laughs> what did I say? Elijah, get me out of here. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ed, All right. Ed, that's the, that's the, Wait, that's the name someone... my father gave me. I, I, I prefer the name Klaus. What? what? That's Wait, the name my father it? gave me. I prefer the name Klaus. Yes! yes! Come on up! Come yes! on up! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> we raised the stakes on this. Ooh! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, oh, look here's, the, here's the. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sir, the jacket. Joseph. Wait. Wow. Uh, they, they're supposed to come. Si oh, sorry. No, oh, no. He was supposed to get uh, the. Oh, the come, thing come on back. Okay. Hang come on. on back. There's come more on stuff. Back. Where is it? Uh, there, it's there. There it is. This is the. Uh, hey. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well done. Well You're done. You're amazing. Right? <laughs> amazing. All right. 27 more questions to go. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> you didn't know that this was a test. This is Joseph's idea of a test. All right, here we go. What was the name of the little Michelson brother who was killed by wolves? Oh, oh okay. Oh. Go on, Tom. Go on. Do your thing. Henry. What? Henry. Henry. Yes! Booyah! Uh, win! Come on up! Should have opened come with that one. Come on up! <laughs> Should have started with that one. She's now lost her place in line as well. Yeah, you have <laughs> sacrificed your place in line and you'll need to return to your seat. Come on. <laughs> Hello, Henrik. Have, what do we have here, Persia? This is, the, this is his Oh, name. Henrik. Yep. So we have a heart for you. Yep. Heart for you and, and an autograph, an autograph book. book. Yes. Thank you so much. Oh, well done. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I think you also All right, we got just a couple more. Here we go. Uh, oh, who turned... Abby Bennett into a vampire. Who turned Abby <laughs> Bennett into loud. a vampire? Can't say it out loud. <laughs> Go on, Tom. Go on. Damon. D it was Damon. Damon, yes. come, come on, down. come on up. And we've got. Uh. Of course. Here we go. I've got a hello love heart for you, with the answer on, Damon. Uh, and we've got an autographed book for you oh, as well. Thank you so thank much. You so much. Thank well done. You. Thank you. One more question for the trivia section. I'm coming down to the front section. Oh, good. Good move. Good yeah, move. So you're not running anymore. How are you holding up? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a drink. All right, this. here we go. Morgan White, Hold on. Just put your mic down. 
for this one. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> What's Klaus's favorite song? What do you think? <laughs> ba, ba, ba. No. <laughs> I don't know. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up if you think you What's know. Klaus's favourite song? We've actually We've got a hand picked. over here, Tom. We've actually Oh, we've got one closer to you. Go on, mate. One no, closer no, to you. No, go on, go on, go on. Ed Sheeran. Is it what? Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. He does enjoy a bit of Ed Sheeran, <laughs> but it isn't his favourite song. Where did you see? I s saw right up there. Oh, cheers. Right here. Right, right up here. at the top. <laughs> <laughs> wave to me, wave to me. Where are we this going? is just our device to get Tom running around the steps. It's cheaper than a gym class. Where no, are we going? I see why he's so fit. Right here? Right over there. Right yeah. in the middle. Let's see. Okay. Pass it down for the last question, for the last prize before we move. What is Klaus's favorite song? Too Cool for School by Fountains of Wayne. He does enjoy Too Cool he does for enjoy School it. as well, but that so? is not his absolute favorite song. We've got time for one more answer. I think. I, I think you should give him a reward because it was close. Just like something. Like, let's just, we got to do Thanks. something. You, you got to do All right, it. Tom. You got to, you can't just give. <laughs> I need, I, I should get it. Let's go. You should Over get here. it. All right, wait. All right, we've got a reward. Is it that, as I lay dying? What, wait, what is it? As I lay dying. As I lay down? At, at the last scene. <laughs> the last scene when you and Elijah died. Ooh. As oh. I lay dying. Oh, as I lay down, no, but you're getting me emotional now. <laughs> All right. All right. Is it essay? Is it essay? I don't know. She just shouted at me. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were having a guess, Tom. <laughs> I was like, we've got to that point now. All right, let's have one more guess. Come on. Here you go, mate. This one. What do you think? Down here. Is it the big bad wolf? It is the big bad yeah! wolf! He also enjoys Toxic by Britney Spears. Here you go, mate. There's a hoodie for you. He's gone. He's gone. So. That was fun. Thank you so that much. Was really fun. Thank you, Tom. Guys, Tom, let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> he worked for that. He worked for that. <laughs> we, oh, well, we have, we have. Okay. Got a sticker for you. Yes. <laughs> oh, I random okay. Well, yeah, we got Persia we saying we've we got, got one, one T-shirt left. One gift left. So we should do one more wanted, question just to give, more give away you one more little piece of merch. Are you guys up for it? Okay. 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 Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, uh, now I have to think no, of a question no, on the spot. No, there was a random one. That, that was the spare. This. The spare. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is kind of a tough one. What was Abby Bennett's married name? Like, what to Bonnie's, Bonnie's biological Bonnie's father? Mom's right down here Bonnie's in the middle. Bonnie's dad's last name. Let's have a look. Name. Bonnie's dad's last name. As I pointed name. to her right in the Someone middle, I Someone is very excited. Blurting past me. There we go. Pass here we go. Abby Bennett. Wilson. Abby Bennett Wilson. Yes. Yes. You got it. Come, Come on, on down. Up. up, down. I don't know what's up or down anymore. Oh, we've got that. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. You're my absolute favourite. That's why I extended my applause to you. Yeah. Great. Oh. Yeah. There we go. Thank you so much. Well done. Well done. Congratulations. You're welcome. There we go. Thank you. All right, that was great. Woo! Well done. Boom. All right. All right. So, guys. Uh, oh. Yes. So now. What I'm going to do, because we're, we're kind of like a variety show, I guess. Like we've got a lot of things and we're trying to fit them all in. <laughs> so what I want to do, uh, as, as a lot of you know, I think, uh, I put out an audiobook recently called The Boy and the Beast. 
So um, for those of you who haven't heard it, it's available on audio and on Audible and Apple Books. Um, so what I want to do... Is, and first, um, can you speak to the No, after. Oh. After, shh. <laughs> Uh, what I want to do is just read. Oh, oh, look, ah. oh look at this. Thank you so much. This is the iPad Thank you. with. Uh, what I want to do is just do a. The Boy and the Beast. A short reading from The Boy and the Beast, just the beginning, a little live reading for you guys. Yes, Thank and you. if you could make the lights red, that would be perfect. A <laughs> little bit, a little warm for you. Oh, there we I mean, go. Oh. Mood lighting. <laughs> story Here time. Here we go. I'm going to move in for the story time. Come, in, come on in. Okay. So, I'm just going to give you guys a little bit because <laughs> we don't have time. <laughs> Last night, another child disappeared from the village. Tim Gillespie was nine years old. He had a laugh like a rattle, and he always won when we played stuck in the mud. This morning, you can hear his mother crying. His, Tim's father sits on the porch saying nothing, and Tim's brothers don't want to play stuck in the mud, even though I asked them twice. They say that they're going into the woods, that they're going to kill the beast. But I know they won't. They're just scared. And besides, the beast does not exist. Tonight, there is a meeting in the village hall. The mayor will speak. And children aren't allowed, but I know a way to sneak in. And besides, 12 years old is not a child. It takes a long time to get dark. But the moon is full and the village is empty and it isn't hard to slip from shadow to shadow and creep unnoticed past the guard at the village hall gate. My little sister cried when I left her alone. The beast will get me. It will gobble me up. Hush, Maria, I told her. The beast does not exist. But I made her lock her door behind me just the same. I think that's all we have time for. <laughs> but thank you so much. So... Exciting announcement. Yeah, so uh, for those of you who have uh, bought and listened to The Boy and the Beast and, and enjoyed it, uh, I have written a sequel and I have recorded the sequel as well in the studio. So we're going to be releasing it on Halloween this year and it's called Bound by Blood. So if you want to find out what happens after the end of The Boy and the Beast, because it's a bit of a cliffhanger, let me tell you, then I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it'll be out this Halloween, and we will be promoting it. Bound so by Blood. Bound by Blood. And it's fantastic, guys. It's fantastic. Hmm? Oh, yes. Okay, so we've, we've made that announcement, and one of the other announcements is to say when I sit. Oh, sorry. Hello. Hello, love. <laughs> Hello, love. <laughs> I enjoy that. Ha okay. Um, so, um, I really, I mean, I do. Um, so, um, another announcement that we wanted to make is uh, I'm releasing an album on Joseph's birthday, May 16th, because in honor of... A single is on Joseph. May 16th. I'm sorry, a single on May 16th because I'm putting out a new album. But this song is called Vampire. And um, it's actually a love song about how we fall in love. And sometimes it can be a dark abyss that we're pulled into. So it's not a normal vampire. But I couldn't think of a better person to be the model for the video than Joseph. Yeah, we shot a music video. So, yes. or we're shooting it. We've shot we, part of it. Yes, we shot it in Budapest and um, a music video. And so you're going to see, we're going to show you a clip, some behind the scenes footage and just a minute of some of it. This is unseen by anyone. It's not released yet. So this is just for you guys. And we'll be putting the actual video, um, video out on the 16th of May. So um, we're still finishing. We're shooting it in Budapest, the whole underwater sequence, which I can't even tell you that's going to be <laughs> exciting. Yeah. Yeah, Joseph's going to go underwater. And anyway, so um, we have the video ready. Yeah. Um, and we're going to turn the lights down and show you this. Yeah, if we could play the video, that would be great. Some of the footage from the video. And this is the song. Can't help 
There you go, guys. That's never seen before, and that was a little sample of the song as well, which is so great. Persia's been working so hard on her album. Uh, it's in all last year and, and th the beginning of this year as well, and it's amazing. I'm not just saying that, it's absolutely incredible, so please check it out. But you'll see the, the first single, Vampire, which, uh, as you saw, that was a mixture of like behind-the-scenes footage and actual yeah. footage, but the video is going to be uh, gothic and beautiful and dark and intense and all the stuff that we love, <laughs> basically. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't show too much, so. So, Tom, it is your time to shine. Woo! It's now the Q&A &A portion of the panel. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Finally. Are you ready? Should we, should we all... Where do you want yeah. to come? You take, it, you take your be? seats there. Okay. I'll, I'll pull up a pew here. Lovely. Right on. Lovely. Hello, loves. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm... Shh, got Whoa. you. Whoa. Boom, we're in. So, ladies and gentlemen, indeed, it is now your time to shine. We are going to put the spotlights on one, two, three, four of you, and you're going to get your opportunity to ask the questions to our star panel of this beautiful Saturday at Comic-Con Liverpool. So, we're going to start over with number one. Have you got a question for our Morgan White event? Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Elena, and my question is for Joseph. If you could go back and refilm a season of the originals, which one would you redo? I've, I haven't ever been asked that question, in all seriousness. It, which season would I redo yeah. of the originals? Mm. Wow. Because there's, there's a few things, isn't there? I, can, can I give a two-part answer? Oh, oh I tell you what. Elaboration. Just relax now for a second, because yeah. it's going to take a while. <laughs> Okay, so I would love to, uh, I really, really enjoyed shooting season three. So, uh, because I loved the way it kind of ended with the trial of Klaus Michelson and all of that craziness. So, in terms of enjoyment, I would love to go back and shoot that. But, I would love to go back and shoot season four because I think there were things that were amazing about season four, particularly Summer Fontana, right, as Hope. And I think my scenes with her were my favorite part about that whole season. But I think we could have improved it in terms of the threat to the originals, because it was the hollow, which ended up being sort of the threat was a, a, this blue light that was kind of creepy and ghost-like. But I think we could have added more threat to that season and made it a bit better in that way. And also I get to work with Summer again, so that would be nice. Even Both. though she's now taller than me. What Thank a wonderful you. question. Please, please, please give it up for our wonderful speakers. Oh, nice. Amazing question. Well, we're going to shoot from one over to two. Hi, what's your name and what's your question? My name's Kelsey. And Hiya. for my question, I'd just like to say you went to school with my mother. <laughs> I did. <laughs> hey, you. Who's your mother? Um, Sarah. She went to Morrison Comp. A Morrison Comp? Yeah. What was her name? Sarah Ridgway. Is it? <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> this is the, the danger of doing the cons in the UK, isn't it? <laughs> How old are you? Sorry. <laughs> 24. <laughs> but that wasn't the question. No. <laughs> if Klaus didn't die, would him and Caroline have ended up together because Stefan died? So. I don't think so. You know why? Because he's too much drama. He's too much bloody drama, Klaus. Maybe for a minute, but then, you know, he'd do something to mess it up. Like, he messed up every relationship with his family and with anyone in his life, you know. He had a hole inside that could not be filled, and I wouldn't trust him to be part of any kind of happily ever after, unfortunately. That's why I was happy that he got to sacrifice himself for his daughter, because she was really the true love of his life. Superstar question. Love it. Well done. Well, we're going to go head on up, up into the rafters at number three. Hello. State your question and your name as beautiful and as loudly as you can. Hi, uh, my name's Natalie. Um, I'd just like to know, in the final scene of the originals, when you're all sat around having your meal, was that improvised or was it scripted? Because it looked very much spontaneous, like you were really enjoying and reminiscing over memories and things you've done together. 
Yeah, there was no script for it. Yeah, you're right. It was all just, we all sat there. And what was weird is because it was one of the last days we shot, they said, you know, they sat us all and they said, just enjoy yourselves and we're going to set the cameras up and you guys just relax and chat. And at first it was kind of a bit awkward, like it does when people say, like, just have fun. And you're sort of on the spot, like, oh, and we were kind of a bit quiet. And then they came in and then gradually it kind of loosened up till we were just mucking around and they started filming. And I feel like... There's a bit where I'm kind of laughing and smiling, and I thought, it's not very Klaus-like, really. It's kind of like me, but I also thought that's kind of appropriate for the last moment that he got to feel more human in that last moment. So, yeah, it was all, it was all us just mucking around. Yeah, thank you. Absolute banger of a question. Love it. We're going to shoot over to four. Hi. A uh, question for Joseph. My name's Donna and I'm from Cornwall. Today's my birthday. Um, can I ask what you like most about Cornwall when you were filming Doc Martin? Yeah. Uh, you know, I used to go to Cornwall every year as a holiday uh, when I was a kid. Um, so I knew it well when I went to go film Doc Martin. But what I love more than anything about Cornwall is the rugged cliff tops. You know, the, the beaches... But, but more like the way the waves crash against the rocks and it's really dramatic and kind of windy and you feel so alive there walking along the top of the cliffs. That's what I loved about it most. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Yeah, oh, yes. <laughs> Happy birthday, by the way. <laughs> Your answers are just so amazing. Honestly, as a heterosexual married man, I'm like hanging on every word. <laughs> Love you. Bro. Even after I made you run up and down the stairs the whole time. It's the compulsion. It's it to you. There you go. <laughs> Number one. Hi. Hi. Um, my name is Morgan. Uh, your, your name <laughs> is Morgan? <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask uh, Persia, where did Abby go in The Vampire Diaries? She, Abby, where, where did she go? She completely disappeared from the show. And, uh, what, happened happened to, what, what happened yeah, to what Abby happened? at the end, do you think? Oh, um, well, Abby was very unhappy <coughs> being a vampire because you lose all your witch, beautiful connection to the world and to the earth. And there was actually a reconnection scene that she was going to do with Bonnie, but she sort of went into reclusion because she was a, she was a different person and didn't want to interfere with her daughter's life and she would create more threat by being around her. So really it was sort of observed from a distance. Uh, so that wasn't your choice to leave the show? There wasn't what? It wasn't your choice to leave the show? Oh, no. I mean, it wasn't like that. It was never supposed to. I think what how it goes on the shows is, um, you know, you're trying to support the storylines that that are the main core characters and how those other characters, it's sort of a circle that moves outward and we're just intertwined to support the main stories. So unless you like this or sometimes guy who comes we, we in decide and steals to the come show in and steal our own show and gets his own show <laughs> <laughs> and try and take as many of you guys with us as possible. <laughs> <laughs> and exactly. Joseph, w would you like to say previously on the originals? Would I? Would I, I did, did I say it or would I like to? Uh, uh, would you care to say it now for, for us? Sure. Are you ready? Yeah. Previously on the originals. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. They're so happy right now. <laughs> Thank you so much for your question, Morgan. Amazing. Thank you. We're going to shoot over to two. Hi. Hi. Um, What's your name? Haley. Is that Haley? Hi, Haley. Hi, Hi Haley. Um, my question is for both of you, and I was wondering if you, if you could choose one character apart from your own, who would you want to play? On on either show, on Vampire Diaries and Originals. Either. Ah, who would you play if you could choose someone apart from your own? <laughs> <laughs> she would be wicked as well. I'm telling you, as Klaus. Uh, God, that's a scary thought, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, who would I play? Do you know, I thought about this. You know, I kind of would like to, would have liked to play uh, Cole because I felt like he was, it was really interesting because two actors played him, you know, so we got to see um, Daniel Sharman play him as well. And there was kind of a like naughtiness to Cole <coughs> that I liked. He was very playful and a playful character who causes trouble is a lot of fun um, for me at least. <laughs> so, so probably Cole. 
Thank you, Haley. Perfect. Thank you, Haley. <laughs> Round of applause for Haley. <laughs> Loving it. Shall we shoot up to three, guys? Let's, uh, let's go to three. Let's do that. Hi, my name's Isabella, and I'd just like to say that you like made me year just coming here today. Oh, thank you. And um, the question is, if what was like the funniest moment on like the scene, or like the funniest cast member? Did you catch that? No. So, what was your funniest scene? <laughs> was it on a particular time or a fu oh funniest moment on the uh, show? Just in originals. Funniest cast member? Yeah. Oh. Okay, let's talk about how much fun you had on set. <laughs> uh, yeah, my Daniel funniest Gillies. cast member was Daniel Gillies. Everybody stop so recording funny. for a second while I praise Daniel Gillies. <laughs> we do not want this getting out. <laughs> Certainly not to him because he's already... Uh, he's so funny. So funny. I mean, you're just crying. Like, oh, my God. He's just so, so smart. Yeah, so we just... Well, steady on. <laughs> And so handsome. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Muscular. No, stop it. Um, <laughs> Daniel Gillies, right? I mean, he would crack us up. Oh and on set, he'd crack us up, you know. He text. I'll, see, I'll hear Joseph. Oh, like we always <laughs> are texting. <laughs> oh, what is, is it, Daniel, again? <laughs> not these text jokes yeah. go back and forth. He can't be serious. He can't be serious. Yeah. But he made my life a lot better on the show because we'd, you know, that's the thing. When you're playing a drama that's so serious and emotional and every scene the stakes are high and it's like charged like that you've got to have a laugh in between to release some of that you know what I mean and I felt like that was the best part so my favorite one from the finale which some of you know already is I had to say goodbye to my family and I had a big emotional speech where you know I love you guys so much and you are my family always and forever and like big big emotional long speech and during the speech Every single bloody time, <laughs> he would stand there in his suit, and I, as I'm in the middle, he'd pull out his pocket watch and just glance at the time. <laughs> 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 but it was brilliant because he started cracking himself up when he did it, so that when they turned the camera around on him, he couldn't do it with a straight face. <laughs> so I felt like I got my own back on him that way. So yeah, all right, you may resume recording. <laughs> And as if by magic, ladies and gentlemen, you look up to the top. The one and only Daniel Gip. No, no, I want to get. Ah, got you. Got you. That was just for you. Oh. Head on up to number four. Hi, I'm Lily, and I was just wondering. I remember in lockdown, I used to, me and my friend Kira, we used to watch your Twitch streams all the time. They were amazing. Like, they got me through lockdown. I was just wondering if that was something you'd ever consider getting back into, or was it just more of like a lockdown period kind of thing? I think it was, it was more of an, a lockdown period era, really, because I, I just am so busy, at, like, normally now, uh, which is amazing. I'm so grateful to be working again and properly busy. So I feel like it was more like that uh, era. I do still, you know, I love gaming anyway, but I it's kind of my like wind down time now where I have a little play on something. I'm looking forward to Resident Evil 4, by the way, which they just released the <laughs> remake. Um, downloading as we speak. Uh, but yeah, I think it was just that time. Also, someone terrified me so badly. <laughs> she, I was streaming on Twitch and she came behind me with this white mask and a machete and stood <laughs> behind me. Yeah, uh, it was a, it was fake, a fake machete, fake machete. <laughs> that we used so in a horror says, short. Yes, that had fake blood. And on I it. started seeing all the comments going crazy. I was like, "What's happening?" And Best was, moment. And then she came and like went Rah! and put her hands on me and terrified so me. So great, because you know your mind goes really silent when you're playing, and you're. Yeah. And I was so focused. Yeah, you can still find the footage. So, yeah, <laughs> thank you. Thanks for the saying so that. Fun. Though I enjoyed. Thank it. you so much. Thank you so much for your question, yeah. number four. Well, we've got about five minutes left, guys, so uh, uh, we probably won't be able to get to all of you, but we will try our hardest to get done what we can get done. Number one, we're going to head back to you. Hello, my name is Roxanne. I'm French. Uh, I don't know if you recognize me, but thank you for your generosity earlier. Oh, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> um, I have a question for you. Uh, Klaus said to Caroline, I intend to be your last love. When you a bit frustrated that that love story never happens? No, I wasn't, and I'll tell you why, because I just love the drama. So I, ah, I, okay. I, I do, I, I always thought like, if Klaus lived happily ever after, great f for Klaus yes. and for people who want the storyline. For me as an actor, no, 
not so interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I want the shouting, I want the crying, I want the passion, I want the speeches, and that means the drama. And so I also felt like he was quite a toxic person, even though I love him and he still lives in my head. I, I, he was quite a toxic person and I don't think he really was ready to be with anyone, you know, and, and I think that would have caused them more harm uh, in the long run. So yeah, that's, <laughs> that's about the okay, size thank of it. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Roxanne. Thank Merci. You. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. <laughs> We're going to head over to two. Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, so, my name is Polly. Um, and my question well, it's kind of like a double one, if that's okay. Uh, so, one is um, what is your favorite memory ever from on set? Like the first thing that your mind goes to when, goes to when someone asks you that. Memory and then I was also curious. Um, did you were you able to keep like anything from the set <laughs> like a memory? <laughs> she wants to know what you nicked. Basically, Mate. yeah. <laughs> I tell you, they told me when we finished that you know all the clothes were going to go into a big warehouse for Warner Brothers. So I showed up with two duffel bags. <laughs> no lie, I showed up. We're going to actually give some of them. Remember, we're oh yeah, we're going to do some. Charity. Yeah, we're going to do some auction for, for charity. Yeah, I got about ten of Klaus's jackets, not cheap, mind. Uh, and uh, I got the, um, I got a load of Henleys, some jeans, a belt, some sh couple of pairs of shoes, uh, <laughs> and I'm selling them out the store. Out the but no, not really. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know, one one thing I did keep that I love is that coin. You know, whoever picks up this coin, that that coin, I kept, I picked it up at the end of the day and took it home, nicked it. <laughs> um, it's hard to say what my favourite memory was because it was all, you know, incredible. I mean, there's hard times there, and 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 there was good times. You know what I mean? But it was um, brilliant, really. I'm just really grateful to. Uh, have been a part of something that meant so much to so many people. And so just doing the scenes with my friends and with, especially with my... And meeting your wife. And meeting my wife. <laughs> 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 but that wasn't on set. Uh, I, it was on set. No, that no, we oh met. Oh, you're right. It we met in the... Oh, you know where then you're good. You're Wait, absolved. quick. <laughs> you're absolved. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. I was we met in the foyer of the Vampire Diaries and we hadn't done a scene together or anything. And Persia came out and she just said hi. And we ended up talking for two and a half hours, didn't we? <laughs> and then I persuaded, uh, and then she went and I looked at the, uh, the AD, the guy who was working there and I went, amazing, right? Amazing. And he was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she is. <laughs> and so then uh, the next day I persuaded him, which he probably shouldn't have done, but I persuaded him to give me her phone number. <laughs> That's she illegal, probably, by probably the way. Given out <laughs> private information. It w they wouldn't do that these days. But uh, yeah, and so then I texted her and she pretended not to know who it was. <laughs> <laughs> I texted her about something we were talking about and she's like, sorry, who is this? <laughs> Just Are you the guy that. I met in the restaurant uh, yeah, that's what on I said. last <laughs> Tuesday? And said, no, it's <laughs> Joseph Morgan. From <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's great. true. Go on, one more. We've got one more. One more? Question. Yeah. So we do one more? Do you want to pick a number? Don't look, pick a number. I, I tell you what, I've thought about this. I tell you what, I'll do you guys a deal, all right? I'll do Rebecca, but you have to do something for me. Yeah. Do you, anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, uh... So, you guys, maybe you know or maybe you don't, but I'm working right now on a show called Halo, right, for Paramount Plus. And uh, I'm gonna, the second season's gonna air next year. So, I'm gonna do my thing first, just to make sure you bloody deliver. And then, and then, only then, will I do the Rebecca. So, I'm gonna make a video, I'm gonna record myself saying, in 2024, what show are you gonna watch? And then I'm gonna turn the camera on you guys, and you have to go, Halo! And then my boss will be really happy. <laughs> Deal? Yeah. And then you get your Rebecca. <laughs> house lights up on everyone, yeah. House lights up. Are you going to record me and them, Purge? Oh, okay, great. Then I don't have to handle... My wife is handling that. Okay, so don't reveal them until they say it, yeah? You ready?
in 2024, what show are you going to watch? Halo! Halo! Yes! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, thanks. <laughs> oh, that would be if I just... <laughs> but I can't. You promised. Stand back. <laughs> oh, that was Brazil. <laughs> Rebecca! It's truly a mic drop moment! Please give it up! Thank you. For the Morgan White event! Thank you guys! <laughs>